this video, I'm going to be giving you a little mini ebook or mini scheme that you can utilize and implement if you run either the Jets or the Colts offensive playbooks. This also works for just general trips tight end as well. But I wanted to drop kind of a little trips tight end mini scheme because this formation is in both the Colts and the Jets offensive playbooks. And I've got full ebooks on both of those offensive playbooks on our school.com page. Actually, just started a brand new website where we're dropping full Madden offensive and defensive ebooks as well as full NCAA or college football offensive and defensive ebooks. The cool part about your membership there is it's going to get you access to both pieces or both games of content. So for just $10, you're going to get access to all of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of our college football offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, that link is going to be down in the description and it's only 10 bucks. So trips tight end offset, this is in both the uh, Colts and the Jets uh, playbook. And so the audibles that I'm going to recommend that you're going to set here is we're going to utilize X under. We're going to utilize the RPO alert wide receiver screen. And then really that's it. Everything else is kind of set up for us and kind of what we want to be utilizing. And we are going to be audibling into uh, this scheme, but for the purpose of the video, we're just going to, you know, basically come out in whatever it is that we want to run. And we're going to be showing this against a couple different defensive strategies that your opponent is sure to utilize. Okay, so what makes trips tight in really good? Number one, when you audible from bunch to trips, it's complete. It's basically like flipping the formational strength. So if we were to go back over here to bunch strong, for example, you're going to see that we have short side bunch strong. Now, there's a lot of things we can do from short side bunch strong, one of them being a street corner flat combo. That's going to do a really good job of attacking kind of that short side of the field. But then what we're able to do is with a couple clicks over, go over to trips tight end, and we're in the wide side of the field now. So the first play setup that I'm going to be breaking down is uh, one of my personal favorites from this. It is the play PA crossers. And we're going to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice corner. We're going to streak the inside trips receiver. And we're going to drag this kind of outside trips receiver. Essentially, what we have here is kind of a high low in the middle of the field. And so what we're looking for here is this streak is going to clear out kind of that deep middle. Where we're going to be able to possession catch that little deep crosser right in the middle of the field against both cover four as well as cover two. So again, if they were in cover four or cover two on us, this is going to do a really good job. You see here, the yellow zones will kind of come underneath, and it's going to be wide open in the middle of the field. So they have to go user defend this route. Now, what's also really cool about this play is against a cover three coverage, what you're going to notice here is that this little kind of inverted crosser is very well uh, positioned to potentially be a one-play score or a big hitting play. As you can see, it kind of splits those uh, two defenders in the cover three coverage. So there's a lot of reasons why this play is really good, but in general, what's going to have to occur is the opponent is going to have to user the crosser to the triangle receiver. So because they're going to have to use that crosser to the triangle receiver, it's going to leave this massive hole underneath the defense for us to be able to uh, check down to our outside trips receiver. Now, one of the things that's becoming really popular in Madden 24 is this kind of deep halving of the outside corner to try to prevent the one play scores that are capable in cover three coverages. Well, if they do that deep half, what is going to also happen is you're going to see here that this tight end is going to be wide open to the sideline if they're deep halfing that outside corner. So this is a really nice little kind of universal, great for zone play that you have that just kind of gets the chains moving. And it's a really nice, if you think about the way the play works, we have a really nice high-low read, but that high-low read is, for the most part, going to be in the middle of the field, which is really unique to trips tied in. You don't get this a lot in other formations, but with trips tied in, you're able to have kind of this little high-low in the middle of the field. Now, the next thing that I want to cover is how we attack man coverage with this, with this play formation. Because a lot of people will uh, decide that they want to run some man coverage on you. So, especially if you're running a lot of trips, a lot of people like to play man against trips. So, how are we going to beat it? The best way that I know to beat this is to go to PA crossers again. And now the setup is we're going to zig 
our inside trips receiver. We're going to tie it in apprentice post are tied in. And then we are going to drag our middle trips receiver. So this is what the routes are going to look like. Our first read pretty much every single time is always going to be this zig route. Oftentimes, as long as it don't get screamed at right at the A-gap, the, the, the guy is going to be wide open on this little zig route. We'll show this to you again here. Hopefully we don't get screamed at again right up the middle. But as you can see, he's wide open. And now we can't throw the ball, but you see he's wide open. So it's a great read for man coverage. And then we'll show you kind of the, the additional routes. So the next route that we're going to be looking to here is this drag. Drags a man 24. Super effective at being able to attack man coverage. So we're able to beat man with the drag. And then the other route that we're going to be looking to here is our tight end post. So the cool part about the tight end post, almost always uh, going to beat man coverage once he cuts to the middle of the field. As you can see, super effective for attacking man. Now, another thing that's worth kind of uh, discussing here is this deep skinny post. This deep skinny post is not something that is always available to you. But if they're playing cover two man, it can split these safeties in the middle. Uh, it's just a matter of if he actually wins. And, and here he kind of won but kind of didn't win. Normally they will win on that man cut to the middle of the field. Okay? So you have that as well. It's If they put a middle third, then obviously, you know, it's not going to be super open. But if it's cover two man, you'll see here, when he cuts to the to the post, you know, he's got a really good chance to be able to outrun him. And, again, it just comes down to does he win or not. And, you know, I wish I could say he always wins. He doesn't always win. Most of the time he wins. Okay? So those are uh, kind of my – that's kind of my favorite way from this formation to be able to attack man coverage. All right. So once we kind of get them out of man coverage with that first setup where we can hit the – the zig, the drag, another little element that I didn't discuss. If you want to send five out against man, you can run this setup. So it's the same exact setup. We're just going to put the running back on a wheel. The reason this is really good is because when he cuts up field, as you see, he's going to be able to manipulate that man to cover defender. Oftentimes that deep half will not actually get there, and you'll be able to manipulate man coverage that way. This is also, in my opinion, the best way – to manipulate this cover one robber. So let's say they're playing you kind of in a cover one style of defense with the middle of the field uh, help. This does a really good job of kind of manipulating that as well. So what you'll see here is again, as soon as he cut, as soon as that running back cuts up field, he wins, it's over. And now you're, you know, looking at potential touchdown. So they just can't play man coverage on you and expect it to be super effective. So once we kind of get them out of man coverage, typically the defense that you're going to start to see a lot is cover three to the trip side and cover uh, cover three to the trip side and cover two to the tight end side. Now, if they're running a lot of this cover four to the tight end side, this is where what we want to do is go to this next setup. So this next setup is really universal. And the main thing here is you're going to need a tight end apprentice. So tight end apprentice corner, you're going to flat the – Middle trips receiver, zig the outside trips receiver, smart routed in route the outside trips receiver, zig the inside trips receiver, and then streak the running back. So this route combo right here is really effective against cover four or cover three. Essentially what's going to happen is you're going to hit this tight end corner with a free form down and outside. As you can see, that outside quarter really doesn't defend him. And the only real way that they can defend that tight end and this is where we're going to kind of play some, some basic games here with this running back and tight end, which is what makes this formation really tough, is by utilizing a curl flat. As you see, a curl flat zone, it can kind of get deep enough on that right-hand side. The problem with the curl flat zone oftentimes is this is where we'll kind of go to a secondary setup where we're putting the tight end on a flat, put the running back on a streak, and then everything else on the backside is going to be completely identical. And what you'll be able to do is oftentimes, oftentimes you'll be able to hit the running back. I, I, right there, the user did play it, but oftentimes the user is going to go to the trip side. If the user does stay on the running back, as he did right there, then this is where you're going to hit the zig route. So you look to the left, you see that zig is going to be wide open, super good read. 
and that zig's good if they you know if they do really anything so then let's say they you know have a yellow zone and they have underneath flat protection if they have all of that then your backside dig you're going to see kind of where this comes open but it's going to get right in that really nice pocket and it just creates kind of that triangular passing concept over the middle of the field really good route combo against double mabel really good route combo against cover four really good route combo against cover three and again as i said this user oftentimes is going to kind of roll back to the middle because he's got to go defend the in route so if we go back to this uh, example that i was showing you here on the right side the tight end will pull that flat out and then this will be kind of a throw that you'll get, you'll be able to hit a lot it's also really good against the blitz because you have a lot of things developing really quick in the route combo and ultimately what's going to happen most of the time is you're going to see your opponent is going to go to this kind of cover two, whoops, uh, kind of cover two to the right. Okay. This allows the user to kind of roll back into the middle of the field and be able to cut crossing routes and things of that nature. So this is where I like to utilize X under. The reason I like X under is because the tight end corner is a deeper corner route and you're able to put the running back on a streak and essentially this tight end corner will kind of get over the top of that cloud flat defender the tight end apprentice shorter corner route is not as effective for that purpose so that's why you want to use the play x under and it's really the same setup this this three-man route combo on the left is one of the best route combinations in the game one of the most underrated route combinations and very well could be a reason why kobo won a belt that three-man route combo to the left side is really good against a lot of different coverages. Now, let me show this to you one more time because for some reason we can't pass lead this to get this open. But again, X under, and you're just throwing this with a, you know, basically an up and out uh, pass lead. So you're just kind of throwing it really more so horizontal, but that's the throw right there. So as you can see, we're able to manip manipulate cover two. The user still has to stay in the middle of the field to defend that rollback in route. So uh, typically what will happen at that point is they might start to put this guy on the top in a third, but generally they're going to kind of live with making that hard throw difficult, and they might go user it. But in general, a lot of times you're going to work them into this cover two on the right. So it leads me to my next route combo. PA crossers, we're going to flat the middle trips receiver. We're going to in route the outside trips receiver, and we're going to streak the tight end. The reason for this route combination is primarily for cover two, as you can see. Against a press cloud flat, it does a really good job of just kind of getting over the top of that. But where this route combo is not very good, and this is why it's important to explain, this route combo is good, but it's not that good against cover four shade underneath. So if they shade down out of their cover four this year, this outside quarter on the right is really going to do a pretty good job of playing that, as you can see. Can't really throw that route. So that's why you want to be kind of careful and you want to make them have to you want to make them have to deep half on the right so the next method of making them deep half on the right is going to be the bomb and the bomb here is we're going to streak the, the we're going to streak the slot receiver we're going to slant the inside trips receiver and we're going to post the tight end what this is going to do is it's going to remove the ability they have to just play cover four uh, or three to the right. So they're going to start to have to use deep halves. And basically this post, once it crosses that inside quarter on the left, is going to be a one-play score against cover four. And it's also going to be a one-play score against cover three. So kind of back to that you know, idea of the PA crossers play, uh, doing a really good job of being able to manipulate cover four, cover three, is going to funnel them back into a cover two coverage which is then going to open up some other stuff. So here's cover three. As you can see, once he crosses the face of the safety, it's going to be a touchdown pretty much every single time. The really underrated part about this specific bomb, and this is why this has been probably the best bomb in Madden for the last, basically on next gen. Uh, this is, this bomb has literally worked every year on next gen. Essentially. it's like, if they do run a cover two coverage, that deep half is not going to guard it. As you see right there, he doesn't really guard the route because of the way he's going to have to play. So the only adjustment that they really can do, number one, they can use her, and I understand that. But number two, the main adjustment you'll see um, is they will take this outside corner and they'll put him in a half. 
So by putting the outside corner in a half, because the tight end is not on a corner route in this setup, I find that this deep half you'll see right here. See how he's running to the middle? He actually gets pulled by the slant, which is crazy. Um, and you can still kind of hit that. So that's why the slant is really good. I wanted to go back and uh, and just briefly touch on, uh, again, this kind of cover four. So the other cool part about this PA crossers play being so good is oftentimes the user is going to go to the post. If the user doesn't go to the tight end post, though, then you can throw this tight end post over there, and this allows us to attack kind of that deep left side line. We have other route combos that attack the deep right side line, and then we have the high lows in the middle of the field from PA crossers. So uh, this is just one of my favorite, I mean, just a really good play. Another really underrated play is the RPO screen. Uh, you don't really have to, to know too much about this play. Just call it, mix it in. It's really hard to stop. They have to kind of play hard flats on the left, which is then going to open up verticals. So the vertical setup that I like to utilize is we're going to corner route the tight end, and we're going to Texas route the running back. If you don't have a Texas route, you can feel free to in route him. But the first read is always this triangle receiver. This is going to force your opponent to have to man up that middle trips receiver quite a bit. And so because they're going to have to man up that middle trips receiver, this is going to kind of get them into basically defenses that look kind of like what you see on your screen. So because they have to do this, especially against like verticals, this is where things kind of get interesting with the offense. But essentially you get all these high lows in the middle of the field. So you'll see here pulls the yellows back. We can throw the running back underneath for an easy 10 to 15 yards. Oftentimes the user. So let's say, you know, let's say in this situation, the, the user decides, okay, I'm going to run with the running back and take him away. Well, as you can see here, it's going to leave this big void in the middle of the field. And so this is where the crosser, if you throw this crosser before it gets to the third, so kind of like right here, you can possession catch it and avoid KOs. Another really underrated element uh, on the right side, and this is something that's a kind of a, like I said, just kind of a super underrated thing to do at a trip tight end, in my opinion. But if you start to notice they're putting a lot of curl flats on that right side. What I like to do is uh, essentially create kind of a high low. So we'll go to the play X under and it has this table route to the running back. I don't really care what you do on the left hand side. You can literally do whatever. I love the streak flat in route combo. I think it's pretty good. But essentially, you're just going to throw this table route. Wear that out. Make them have to defend it. I, I can't stress to you how important it really is. Another thing going back to kind of that original combo that we showed you where we're using a flat zig and deep in, go with a flat and a ghost route on the right side. What you'll see in that is that yellow zone will kind of leave that ghost route every time, and that curl flat will always go to the tight end. So these are other ways that you can just manipulate that right-hand side. If they are running a ton of cover four, a ton of baseline press cover four, one of my last ditch things that I love to do is go to PA crossers, put the running back on a streak, motion him out, and basically run the route combination like this right here. Our first read is going to be this quick out to the right. The quick in route backside is also normally open. If the flats are covered, the in route's almost always open. So you have really quick reads that you can hit against the blitz. And then the other element of the play is that the running back streak uh, that we motioned out is going to clear out that outside quarter. And then you can throw this, you know, kind of in that soft spot against the defense so one last play that i think is really drastically underrated in trips tied in uh, every single year is this right here it's just hitch zig curl and then on the right side you can kind of do whatever you want uh, my newfound favorite thing is flat streak i think flat streak is really good these are you know you don't have to have hot route master but this just this route combo works every year. It's super good. I got one more for you because I forgot about this one. This is really good against the blitz, really good against cover zero, really good in the red zone. Flat, in, slant. Uh, I would probably go with a drag this year and a ghost route. Uh, you could also just block the running back. But essentially what this is going to do is it just spaces the field really, really well horizontally. And it's not the best against cover four, uh, but it is but it is pretty decent. If you do have Hot Route Master, uh, one route combo that is worth mentioning is the C Route Streak on the left. So all you got to do, you can block the running back, but this is a way that we can attack cover four, cover three to the left side. You'll see that I can throw the C Route. Of course, I say that I got pressed. If they don't get that really bad reroute that I got right there, 
what you can do is you can throw this C route. It's essentially a sale concept, but it's just different players. So instead of the corner route being on triangle and the streak being on square, now the streak's on triangle and the uh, corner route or the C route is on that left side. You see there, that's more accurately what you're going to see. So this is a little trip side in mini scheme that I wanted to drop for you guys here on the on the YouTube channel. If you want to get my entire Jets or Colts, or I actually have a ton more. I have over 17 offensive and defensive ebooks over on the uh, school.com page. You can sign up for that for just $10, and the link to sign up for that is down in the description below.